A San Antonio nursing home patient dies in his bed less than two weeks after testing positive for COVID-19. His final hours alive captured on a camera put in place by loved ones to monitor his care. Now the family of Rafael Armendares has filed complaints with state agencies alleging that staff at the facility failed to check on him during those last hours. A warning. What you're about to see may be disturbing to some viewers. Our Dylan Collier has this defender's report. He spoke 10 languages and he was an amazing guy. For the daughters of 80 year old Rafael Armendares, the pain of recently losing a parent has been intensified by watching his death play out on screen. The family says early last year, after Armendares developed a sore on his foot, Management at Golden Estates Rehabilitation and Healthcare Center gave them permission to install a ring security camera in his room. It allowed family members to periodically check on his care and get updates from staff on his general well being. He was doing pretty good. Amendaras, a retired chef and grandfather of eight, had dementia, but according to his daughters, was still able to recognize his family and until early November had avoided contracting the virus that has overwhelmed nursing homes across the country. After testing positive for COVID 19, Amendaras experienced issues breathing prompting staff to put him on around-the-clock oxygen. November 10th, shortly after 3 a.m., the ring camera showed Amendaras with only one tube from his oxygen cannula in place, pull a blanket over his head. Two minutes later, Amendaras lowers his blanket and the cannula can no longer be seen, meaning he had stopped receiving oxygen through the device in his nose. What transpires next is extremely difficult to watch. Amendaras' breathing becomes labored, after 4 a.m., shorter breaths have given way to deep gasps for air. This breath at 4.24 a.m. is one of the last times we see him move. We have stopped the video before it appears to show Armandadas' death. By our calculation, he went one hour, 17 minutes without having his oxygen tube in place prior to his breathing appearing to stop. According to complaints filed last month with the Texas Board of Nursing and State Health and Human Services, Amendadas hadn't been checked on since 12.42 a.m. The staffer, however, indicated in a San Antonio police report that he checked on his patients every two hours beginning at 12 a.m. The family disputes that and claims that according to the timestamp on the Ring video, it had been nearly four hours since anyone at the facility had done face-to-face -face monitoring of Armandadas. Can you check his vitals, please? And although employees attempted to bring Armandadas back... Yes, hello. I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it now. Okay, I understand. I'm so sorry. But okay, let me finish. Thanks. It quickly became apparent that he had passed away. It's painful for us to see how we can't even imagine how other people are in the, probably the same situation without camera. The family also contends Armandadas' nurse call button was draped over his bed in a way that they believe kept him from being able to reach it and point to this still image from the ring camera captured about 12 hours before his death. And they never went to help him. The Armandadas family last month filed a notice of health care claim with Golden Estates asserting a lack of appropriate care and are expected to file a formal lawsuit later this year. An attorney representing the facility says federal health care law prevents him from commenting on Mr. Armandadas' death or his care. For the Defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. We did some looking into their records and Golden Estates has for the most part kept coronavirus infections down inside the facility. State records show as of mid-December there had only been six resident deaths related to COVID-19 and there were just three active cases among residents and staff.